This isn't real, but it still hurts. We have to be fast. I just wanted to say it looks so cold. And we do have a stat called warmth. So I guess we have to go. Yes, hmm. false cold, but the real fire keeps it away. Interesting. What do they mean by false cold? I also wonder what happens if it reaches zero, but hey. Let's not try that. Pages near an old campfire. Boy. An ancient fire has, pass, has pages from an old book torn next to it, likely used for kindling. The ice has kept a few pages legible. Aaron and Oriana drew the Ava away, but when Talana and I breached the Tevinter forest ward and entered the fortress, we found to our chagrin that this, that this is their main base. Their mastery of ice magic allowed them to slip through the ward without melting it. Instead of luring the dragon into a trap of our making, we had a brutal fight in the home of our foes. The dragon's power is like none I have ever seen. Possessed by this Ava god spirit, it rivals the legendary archdemon Dumard in its fury. I pray the legends of another archdemon leading the blight in the Underfells are just foolish stories. But if they are true, then I understand why Emperor Draken asked me to come here. Draken's new Ole cannot face two gods at once. Talana was injured in the last battle. She says that she still can fight, but she's limping badly, even after our healing magics. Once we are warm again, I will send her back to the surface. The spell that will seal away the dragon offers a little chance for escape, and in her current state, she cannot hope to outrun the magic. With luck, she will reach Orion and Harren, and they can back, can back to civilization and bring reinforcements. Uh... I don't know. I mean, it seems like she made it outside. But, well, not that far, right? Interesting. So we are seeing parts of Ameridan's journal, I guess. Why are they not freezing? I mean, they are not wearing much clothes, right? Sounds like they've already started the ritual. Best hurry then. On it. Ah, uh, we shouldn't jump down, right? Hmm. I think I have to take the main staircase. We really cool down very quickly. Like, in a matter of seconds. Again. But yeah. Um. Okay, there yeah, with another light source. Or well, mainly heat source, I guess. We should look around. Uh, come on. That was close. Good if they're performing the ritual here, how can we already hear that? The beer room. But we lost our beer fire. Yeah. Come on. I see the key. He's summoning Hakon into his own body. Is he insane? But I mean, doesn't that weaken him? Of course, I mean, if it's just a human, isn't that, like, way easier to defeat than a dragon as a body? I hate survival mechanics. Uh, I, I don't like very strictly timed things. I don't know about survival in general, but, I mean, looking back at one episode of um, Rook Trader, I really just like <laughs> when streaming, when I want to comment things and stuff. When I can't really do that due to time limits and having to be very quick. Here we go. Ah, so far the loot is not very impressive, I gotta say. And we mean we do get some schematics. But besides that. Sing the song of Savage Hakon. 
Born in battle, uh, bloody blade. Another. Another uh, journal page. Journal of Gerd Harrison. This appears to be scattered pages from an old journal. The handwriting is barely legible and fills with spelling mistakes. They told me not to go, but I did. I had no love of mountains. Red lion hold raids for goats and chickens. There are better fights in the lowlands. I'm tall and strong, and they think me a great warrior. I bet many women with my tails. Why would I go back? This guy has issues. Why are you even writing that down? Several pages later... Uh, several pages have been torn out or scratched over until the next legible section. The darkspawn struck Red Lion Holt. I had the news in a tavern in Radcliffe. The Blight took the land. The lady sends no messages to Blight touched bodies. My kin will know no peace. I curse the lady. I curse Korf. I curse all the gods who let Red Lion fall. The people did the rites, sang the songs. Why would the gods abandon Red Lion? I left the mercenaries I travelled with. They understood. Many have lost kin of their own to the Blight. Is that why they originally turned to Hakan only? But I mean, he also didn't help them, right? And I guess the Blight is just a very overpowering force. Several more pages are legible, and then... I've taken the survivors. I know how to travel better than they do. The Thane is dead, but many warriors survive. And many people died from Blight sickness. Hair of Tayspinner was among them. Those who live say they ask the Lowlanders for help, but they let Red Lion die. We must find a path. We have no need of Korf or the Lady, not if they would abandon my people like the Lowlanders did. The only god I will forgive is Hakan, for the tales say he was stolen by the Lowlanders when the jaws of Hakan bound him to flesh and bone. Ah. Ah. I don't know if that's a smart way of thinking, but oh boy. Red Lion Hold is gone. We are the jaws of Hakon now. We will build no home for homes can die. Instead, we will bring Hakon back and teach the Lowlanders to fear the Ava again. Uh, so, your classic tale of revenge. Winter's breath to rack the lowlands, cold to cut and kill the hated. It also kind of weird, like, hmm, there was the blight, everyone was killed, that was horrible. How do we go for revenge? Let's attack dragon, lots of people and kill she's them. She's stuck, still, a statue. Hakon is angry inside her. Hmm. Oh, hi. Oh, great. Ah. His shards explode. Didn't see that before. Here we go. Maybe I can get the dragon to help us, but I mean, so far the dragons weren't really on our side, right? Come here. <sighs> Wolf is at zero. Oh, I gotta say, I'm not really sure what that did. If we lose HP then? And I mean, also, I don't know, like, just to spend your whole life and your whole clan going for revenge. I don't know. Okay. Oh, come on, Spellbinder. I need to take you down. Did I have a look something here? I think we did. Let's go back and see if we skipped a room or something. Come oh, on, can you please walk a little bit faster? You're not in battle. Also interesting that you walk slower while in battle. Does that make sense? Oh wow. Does that make sense? Wouldn't you kind of walk faster during battle? Because I mean you have the need to be fast. Can we go to the left? Uh, I don't think so. But it really looks like there's a room, right? Weird map. Well, 
Another episode of Dragon Age Inquisition maps being confusing. Oh no, we can go up there. I'm just blind. Here we go. Let's see if there's something interesting. And hopefully also some fire. Also would be cool if you could use your uh, own fire spells to keep warm. Because I mean, we can literally do fire. Let's see. Nope, that doesn't heat us up. Sadness. And I guess the ritual chanter is like really into that and we really hear him from all across the temple. Ooh, there we have the dragon. Oh boy. Let's hope we can get her on our side. But I don't think so. Lowland Bay. Hmm. Journal of Gorod Harrison. So we see how the story continues. These appear to be somewhat recent pages from a journal. We searched for months and found nothing. The tales tell of this area, of the stone bears, a hold of fishermen and chicken farmers, have lived here for generations and seen no sign. If we see nothing, we must keep moving. I will not let my hold falter. We will we'll move on, lest we die. Let us really focus on revenge and killing my friends. You survived. After several torn up pages, another section is legible. We found it. Ekin himself welcomed us, an ancient winter fortress sheathed in a wall of ice. It was untouched by lowlanders who could find no way to breach the walls. Our mages alone, blessed by silent Hakon with the gifts of ice, could part the wall for a few heartbeats, giving our people time to climb inside. The wall resists common fire, and even the flames from our mages did little to melt the magical ice. We're safe. The northern markers lead to a shrine that our mages say reeks of magic. I've sent warriors to guard it, lest it holds some spirit who can part this wall with lowlander magic. We have found Hakon, bound in silence where the lowland warrior trapped him for ages uncounted. Our trials have not been in vain. They were a test. Hakon will come again. Great. So... Blessings, cold, and pain! Yeah, I don't know. It also doesn't sound like the Jaws of Hakon will meet like a very nice fate once Hakon is freed, right? I don't get them. Go. Die. Chill, people. We just attack one shot. I want to take out all the shards just in case. We can also go down here. Sing no. the song of Savage Hakon, born in battle, bloody bladed. Winter's breath to rack the lowlands, cold to cut and kill. Here we go, and another one. Come on, explode. Oh, seriously. Did you see that she just pulled him outside of the room? No. Yeah. We are um, slowly losing health due to it being cold. Let's go and light the fire. Oh, come on, big guy. Let's take off your armor. And I mean, also, in the end, they did survive, right? I don't know. Hmm. Concern. Uh, oh, wait. 
I think I just don't get that there are so many factions in Dragon Age who just... I don't know... Ate the more powerful cause of rich... power. First, then Hakon can be harmed. Yeah, not the most complex uh, villains in general. Death to Lowlanders! I'll be up for you! Death to Lowlanders for sure. Go. I mean, how many of the Hakonites died in this whole battle? Ah, I hate those bruises. Oh, stop that! How can you do that? Uh, here we go. Before he does that again. More fire. Said that we can't attack the one on top. Of course, I mean, realistically, you should always attack the one doing the ritual first. Not his minions. I mean, he's still chanting. Why can't I attack him? Oh well. Would be great if I had some ranged attacks, right? Because I mean, he's not even out of reach. I could just attack him. Are you? You kind of look like an emissary. Face me and die, Inquisitor! Your predecessor could not stand against me. You shall fall as well. There we have him, Gerd Harrison. And he sounds really possessed, right? I am the cold bite of winter! And that's not Gerd anymore. Attacker. The damn thing's dousing the fires! There you go. It's not dousing the fires though, I mean it's still burning, right? So, you know, I am wondering if we are maybe still fighting at the dragon. It would be a weird build up if we wouldn't, right? Here. And another. I am on reborn! Great. The cold is worse near the creature. Oh, gosh! Help Dory! You're not the first and not the last of the nation we're fighting. Go. Come on. I mean, it also seems to work out just for me to send you the fire. Oh no. Ah. Death to the Molanders! Here we go. More very so many enemies. But you know what? Uh, should, should we go for a rift magic? There might be a worse fight at one point. Ugh. We can't use the fire. I don't like that. But, 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 how? No. Damn it. Maybe you have to destroy the shards, you know? Uh, here we go. But do you see more? Ah, there's another shard. We have to destroy all the shards, and then I can reactivate um, the brazes. Uh, I don't see any more. I saw the two. Mm. Ah, well. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, gosh. Two bruises. Great. Go. I also don't really see how you can, like, counter the bruisers, you know? Once they start swinging and catch you, you're in there. There has to be a way to reactivate the fire, right? Oh no, oh no, oh no, no. 
Here we go. Okay, another rune. Ah, oh, but I think he's stats. Neat. Ah, at least that fire is working again. Odd wasp the whole time and I just ignored it. Ah, finally warm again. Come here. Let's just use up the potions and then use the supply cache. There we go. And warm up again. Here we go. Also kind of funny that we can warm up the whole team. Not sure how that works. And now, what is happening with the dragon? I think the guy up there is a Meriden. And he's an elf. Inquisitor. Inquisitor. An elf and, and a Aran mage. Atishan. I'm glad Draken's friendship with our people has remained strong. Nice. And yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> it has not. Dracon's son. Cordillus II destroyed the Dales. Draken's son. How long? You were the last Inquisitor. There has not been another since you disappeared 800 years ago. Draken was my oldest friend. He would have sent someone to find me. I'm afraid Draken was a little busy with the Darkspawn pouring down from the Anderfells. The Blight. I see. Talana escaped the battle. Did she... Do the records say what became of her? No. Uh, uh, even though the liar would be nicer, I think he deserves the truth, right? She returned to the island. From what we can tell, she died trying to reach you through dreams. I asked her not to. She was a good hunter and the love of my life, but she never... I never wanted this job. Hunting demons was so much simpler than politics. Inquisitor Ameridan, how could the leader of the Seekers be a mage? Has history forgotten so much? I was not Apparently. the Seeker myself, as most Inquisitors were. I use my magical gifts in the hunting of demons at Maleficarum. Do the Seekers no longer welcome the aid of mages? No, that was forgotten. Among many other things. Oh boy, things really went south both for elves and for mages in those 800 years. Cassandra is a Seeker. And after the Seekers went rogue, she discovered the truth about them. We learned they developed the right of tranquility. You mean sundering one from the fate? The Seekers do it briefly when granting an initiate their abilities. It has become a way to control mages deemed dangerous. They are left tranquil, permanently. <sighs> Killing a man is ugly work. You learn not to look to it as your first recourse. Sundering them from the fate is easy. Bloodless. I told them spreading such a solution would lead to abuse. They swore that would never happen. They and promised. I am so sorry. I mean, doesn't seem to be his fault, right? It's more like very messy politics and chantry stuff in the following centuries. Cassandra will rebuild the Seekers into an organization to be proud of again. With the Inquisition's help. Then you both have my thanks. I was a good hunter. I did not want to lead an organization, but Draken told me I was needed. As I suspect you were needed. But 
I mean, now he can also help us, right? And I mean, it will be very interesting to have someone from 800 years ago. How did he even survive? Like, all the time banishing and keeping the dragon in place. What matters now is the dragon you hunted. The dragon carries the spirit of an Avar god. I lacked the strength to kill it. My own magic was able to bind us all, locked in time. But when the cultists drew that spirit into another vessel, it disrupted my bindings. It is breaking free. And I think with the Ava leader, we didn't kill Hakon Spirit. I think we're going to kill the dragon now. You won't be fighting it alone this time. No. You will. The passage of years can be delayed, but not ignored. I will soon mm. join Talana at Andraste's side. Take this. It holds the last few memories of an old hunter who was neither as wise nor as strong as he thought. Mm. Fight well, Inquisitor. And that I'm explains to have met you. Met you. the symbols. He was an elven mage, but yet still an Andrastian. Sad that he's gone. Holy warrior. Another dragon fight? No, the last dragon fight. We need to stop the dragon. Oh. It still carries the spirit of Hakon. Bye and bye. I guess mission failed successfully. Oh boy. Uh. Ooh, loot. Anything interesting? Uh, I think that's actually not that much better or better at all than our current armor, right? Oh, it is better. Well then, let's go for that one here. Alrighty. Let's just have a look around if there's anything interesting around here. I think... We already explored everything. Let's go for the level up for our companions. Uh, here. And... Wait, wrong direction. Ah, Call is still level 25. Right, off after the dragon. Mm. Here we go. Yeah, let's hope this dragon is not going to wreak havoc over the whole Frostback Basin. But yeah. Like, what do you expect from a murderous spirit-possessed dragon?